So teeth are probably the number one thing that ruins people's drawings. People draw them like this, right? Look at my hand. But in reality, teeth are like this, right? And yeah, you can still see the areas in between. But if I turn my hand, do you see how this kind of, there's areas where it kind of mixes into one another? That's what teeth are like. Okay, if we get up close, we can see all those lines between the teeth. But in actual fact, when we look at someone, we don't see a lot of that, okay? We see white, right? And then we focus in on other things. So if you draw them too um, detailed or with too much of an outline, they will look like, um, for lack of a better word, uh, Frankenstein teeth. Okay, so here's how I approach teeth. The very first thing you do is you make your line for that center tooth, okay? Very, very light. I'm using a 2H. Then you're going to make one based on that size, right? And I'm eyeballing. If you want to measure, you sure can. The front teeth are always bigger, right? Then we're going to drop back and we're going to do the second tooth. Okay, and then we're going to drop back and we're going to do the third tooth. And you can switch sides or you can do it over here. In between, we want very, very, very little definition, but underneath is one of the darkest parts on the face, right? You look at the face, yeah, the, the iris is dark or the, whatever, um, the, the eyelashes can be dark, the nostrils that can be dark, but the edge around the teeth tends to look like the darkest part of the face because the teeth are white, okay? So the area under the teeth, we can come in and make it nice and sharp and dark, okay? And I'm still using a 2H, so I'm not making it really dark, but I'm kind of trying to be as accurate as I can, especially with the, the front four or six teeth. Those are the most crucial ones. The back ones, not so much, but when we see someone and we see them all the time, our brain makes a mental note of what is going on with their face, okay? And it knows, um, it's, you know, if, if this person has a really pointy second tooth, we remember that, okay? And I'm gonna put down the 2H now. I will come back to it in a minute though, and now I'm gonna use a 2B, okay? And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna make the really, really dark areas dark, okay? So in the corner of her mouth, Everybody's mouth generally in the corner is quite dark. Okay. Then we're going to come in and we're going to sharpen this line under here. Now, if you're looking at the reference, you may look at it and say, but I can see teeth underneath. I can see teeth down there. Yes, that's where we're simplifying. Okay. If, if her mouth was really wide open and we could really see a lot of her teeth, maybe we draw them, but it's going to make it much, much more accurate and much more believable if we just get rid of those teeth. Don't worry about what's going on underneath. We're just drawing the top row. Um, and I'll show you how you can soften that in a minute, okay? But right now, this is all we're going to do. And so this part down here is starting to look really good, right? But there's still one problem, and that is the top part of the mouth looks wrong, right? It looks like she's got, like, as I said, fence posts sticking down. And that's because the gum line is also equally important, okay? The gum line can be dark, but it needs to be less dark than what's happening below the teeth, okay? So I'm going to come in and, and, you know, work light. Work with a light touch to begin with, and then start to... Um, you can always darken, right? If, if you go too dark, yeah, you can erase. That's okay, but it's better not to have to. So you can see as I build this, this around, and again, this, this part, especially these ones, one, two, three, especially those three gum line areas are quite crucial because they define the whole shape of that tooth. And our front teeth especially do have a real impact on our likeness. Okay, and you can see how just by adding that in, suddenly it looks like a more natural smile, okay? But we can still make it even better. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to... Um, we're going to sharpen in just at the very tip of the gum line. We're going to make a little bit darker, not a lot, just a little. Okay. And then we'll look at the teeth. Okay. Your two front teeth are going to be pretty much white. If you want to add in a little touch of a line in there, you can do that. Your second teeth are also going to be very, very light. Okay. So we're not going to touch those much, but your back teeth, as soon as we get to that third one, I'm going to start adding in a little layer of graphite over top. Okay. Why am I doing that? Well, let me show you. We're looking at this, the light is hitting the teeth, but the ones on the side are falling back, right? So that's what we're trying to do by adding in, and you can do it with a 2H if you're worried about using a 2B, by adding in more um, value and tone in these back ones, what it does is it makes them recede and it keeps the front ones sort of popping out. Just remember that with teeth, as I said, less is more. Um, that's not really my, my motto on many things because I do like detail, uh, but with teeth, I think that it's very, very crucial. And you can see how we have a nice, happy smiling face.